and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Britt McQuaid and I'm 25 years old from Perth, Western Australia. Today's video I've had in the ideas pile for a very long time, but I've just been waiting for the right timing to do this one. So if you've been around my channel since the beginning, you'll probably have seen it by now that I do really love a good Kmart haul. I think that Kmart is just killing it at the moment with uh, the aesthetic and all the products they're bringing out and of course the price range. So today I thought that we'd do another Kmart haul video but this one's going to be a little bit different. So every time I've gone to Kmart recently I always like to look at the stationery um, section and I've really noticed that they've started upping their game and bringing out like paint by numbers, the candle making kits, bath bomb kits, lots of things to get a bit creative. Um, thankfully in WA we've been very lucky with COVID over here, touch wood. However, I do know a lot of the other states and a lot of places in the world have had lots of lockdowns and you can see a lot of videos where people are, you know, getting a bit more creative. It's great for mindfulness and just getting out a bit of your anxiety, all of those kind of things. So I thought today I'll take you guys along to Kmart with me and I'll pick up some craft supplies, arts and crafts. I'll show you what I get and then yeah, we'll just have a really nice chill video where I do some of the arts and we'll see what I create. Um, before we go to Kmart, the top that I have on now, I'll put again, I'll put a full length video of the outfit here so you can see what it looks like. But yeah, this top is from Pedal and Pop. It was in my most recent try on clip, um, which was a Pedal and Pop haul. And I'll link that in the description for you guys if you're interested in checking out this piece. But yeah, let's go. Always keeping us close, but it's strange now. Dreams holding us closer. Meadows of our youth. A hundred and seven days. But calling it backwards. Our dreams holding us closer. Okay, so we're back from Kmart. As usual, I do think that I was a little bit unrealistic and have bought a few too many arts and crafts supplies to go through in one video, but I'll sit down and talk you through what I purchased and all the prices. So first of all, I got the these stretched canvas. Um, they look like this. Uh, the size is 40 centimeters tall by 30 centimeters wide and a depth of 1.5 centimeters. I believe these were $5. Yeah, so they were $5 for a pack of two. Um, if you know anything about canvases, that's incredibly cheap. They can be so expensive. And I thought I'll show you, I'll talk you through my vision for them. So along with that, I got these pour paints and I got them in the pink color. They are $5, so that's what they look like close up. I'm hoping that picks up. So they are the pour paints. And what I'm envisioning is I really want to pour these onto a canvas and then do some textured painting. So I have a couple of examples. So this is like a little blue pour that I've done before. I believe these pour paints I think I got from Spotlight. So I'm hoping it turns out good, you know, quite similar to that. So I've got pink ones to pour onto the canvas. And then I have a lot of stencils and textured paints. So this is like a textured paint that I've done before. I'm hoping that you get the idea of the texture in there, but there's all like stencils in there and shapes. So my vision is that I am going to put the pour paint onto the canvas and then do some texture painting. That's what I've got there. Um, next, I got a Create Your Own Candles kit, which looks really, really cool. It includes two candle molds, 225 grams of soy wax, two weighted wicks, and like a little instruction book. Um, is this for a child? Perhaps, but you know, I'm very excited. I do love candles. I thought it might be fun just to try and do that. Um, these were $9, so that's pretty good, I think. So, um, along the similar lines, I also got a uh, create your own bath bomb. Again, if you know me personally, you'll know that I do love a good 
bath bomb. Um, it used to be my like self care, like die, ride or die. That was all I did. So I'm really excited to create bath bombs. These again are also $9, so I think that's really cool. This one includes enough mixture to make four rose cream bath bombs. Um, and again, it also comes with a instruction book, comes with dye so you can create the color that you want and also rose fragrance. So hoping they smell really nice. I get very, very excited for that one. Um, if I do get through this today, I will show you how it works in the bath. So keep watching for that. So that's kind of what I got for the general arts and crafts section. But I also did pick up a couple of other things that I'll just show you because they're in the stationary theme as well. So I got my 2022 diary already. I'm hoping that picks up on, color, on camera. The color of this is beautiful. Like this is my aesthetic to a T. It is text. It is like pastel colors, blue, purples, pinks, white, and it is a wellness one. So it's like take care wellness journey journal. Sorry. Um, let me show you a bit of what it looks like. So like it's got that classic new year, new me at January. I know a bit cheesy, but I'd be lying if I didn't say that I like that and then this is what it looks like is that's gonna pick up so on this side you've got like the days so you can put everything that you need to do on the days and then on here it's got little activities about like what you're grateful for goals what habits you've done so I really really like that this year I've really got into you know self-development a lot more so I thought that this was a good diary um, I do use the Kmart diary this year I am a little bit old school and love having a paper diary so I love that so the diary was $12 and it's big it's hardcover so I'm very very excited to use that next year and then the last thing that I got which I really think is really really cool is um, I got this word search book and I know you're probably thinking like Brooke how old are you but hear me out so the word search book was five dollars and it's like 150 mindful puzzles and then you know when you feel a bit stressed or you're just looking for something to do it's like yeah I'll show you one um, so there's a word search page there, that's what it looks like. And this page is, has a little quote being like, do not dwell in the past, do not dream of the future, concentrate the mind on the present moment. And then like the words that you have to find are like concentrate, do, dream, dwell, future, mind, moment, not of, past, present, deep. So it's like a mindful activity and the reason I got this is as I've mentioned, I think in my previous videos, I'm doing a 12 week fitness program at the moment, um, exercise and nutrition program. And as part of that, I spoke to my coach and I really want to get better at mindfulness. And I have, um, you know, it's just 10 minutes that I have to do every day. And I still struggle, like it's so easy to say, I'm gonna read for 10 minutes every day, or I'm gonna meditate. And I do sometimes, don't get me wrong, but um, I just don't do it every day. So I thought picking up like another activity that I could do so I can alternate them. So if one day I feel like doing a word search, the next day I might read, the next day I might have a bubble bath, you know, all of that kind of stuff. So that's why I got this um, and I do love a good word search. It's taken me back to my childhood. So yeah, that's why I picked up that one. But those are all the things I bought. I spent a total of $54, so very, very cheap considering how many activities I got. And additionally, I did also get like a phone case and glass for my phone. So there were a couple of items that are not tallied there. But I'm so excited. So that's what I've got. So let's get into the actual creative side of things. I'm just gonna get changed into something that I don't mind if it gets a bit of paint on. And I'll see you back here. So grab a cup of tea and let's chill out together. Okay, so I'm back. I'm in house clothes that if I get dirty, it's okay. And I've got my cup of coffee. So I'm ready to get creative. 
I thought that the first thing that we might try and create is the candles because I figure they might need a little bit of time to cool down. I don't really know. I have read this little book it comes with. It gives you some instructions. I will admit I'm not very good at reading instructions so I'm hoping that I got it right but I'm just going to make like the classic candle, nothing special, I'm not going to add anything um, and we'll see how that goes and then if it works out then we can think about adding more in the next candles but I opened the little pack that it comes with and you get two little moulds so you get a little star and just a little like square one and then you get lots and lots of wax so that's what all this bag is um, so that's exciting and then our little wicks so hopefully this goes okay it just says we need to create a double boil of water and pour the soy wax into that um, then we let it cool and we pour it into the mold put the wicks in and then let it dry so let's do that let's get the water boiling okay so but behind me here we have a double boiler going so there's a pot there that's got boiling water in and then I've just put a bowl on the top to pour my wax in it said to use a pitcher or a pour thing but you know I didn't have one so we're just gonna try this I'm gonna use the whole bag of wax this is how much it comes with I assume that that's how much I'm supposed to use again Probably should read the instructions a bit more, but yeah, let's melt our wax. So this is our wax melting in there, so it's doing very well. Um, I was going to put them in these molds, but on second thought, I'm thinking maybe I'll put them in like this old coffee jar that I have, because that looks like a nice size. And I'd rather have one big one, so I'm thinking I'm putting it in there. There is like a little bit of coffee beans in there that I actually can't get out. So I'm hoping that that doesn't do any weird interacting with the wax. But yeah, I'm going to put a big one in there and we'll see what happens. Alright, again, not reading the instructions properly, but I want to add a scent to them. So I'm thinking I might actually put in like a couple of drops of essential oil. Um, I got this from Kmart. I don't think it's picking up on the camera very well, but it is Mandarin. Uh, scented so I think if I put like a couple of drops in that should be fine all right so it's almost melted now um, I did actually check the instructions uh, and it does say that I can add a couple of drops of essential oil so I'm gonna pop in this one she's not gonna focus for me is she anyways it's mandarin so we're just gonna put a couple of drops in Probably way too many, but that's completely fine. We're just trying this. So swirl in that scent a bit more. Just wait for that last bit to dry, um, to melt, sorry, and then, yeah. Okay, so I've taken the wax off the uh, double boil, so I'm just waiting for it to cool. I do not have a thermometer, but it says to let it drop from 82 degrees to 57 degrees. So I'm just gonna leave it there for like a minute. Um, this is the jar that I'm gonna put it in and then we have the little wax part. I'm hoping that like I can prop the wax up a bit because if it goes to the bottom, it's gonna be like very hard to light. Um, again, I should have read exactly what you need. You need skewers and I don't have any. I've got little toothpicks. So I'm hoping that they'll work to hold the wax hold this little piece in place, the wick. But yeah, we'll see. It definitely does smell like mandarin. I have accidentally got it on my hands, which with essential oils you probably shouldn't do, but I've washed them, so hopefully that's okay. But it does smell very nice, so pretty excited. I would recommend uh, giving this a go, especially if you do have kids. I think it'll be very fun to do together. Or, I mean, I'm enjoying it, so. If you're an adult like me, a big child, give it a go, $9. Highly recommend. All right, moment of truth. Let's pour it in and hope that I don't spill it. After all of that, I have decided to put it in its little star mold and square mold that the pack comes with. So I would suggest following the instructions and actually putting it in the mold that it recommends.
but we'll see how they dry down and how they burn. So I'll let you guys know that later on. Excuse the um, dryer that you can hear in the background. I have just gone and opened the bath bomb kit. Um, I thought I'll show you like what it comes with. I don't think that I'll make this one today just because you do require a little bit of mixing and you know measuring stuff out. So I want to make sure, I've learned from the candles, I want to make sure that I give it enough time and enough precision to get it right because I do love bath bombs. But it comes with a book like the other one and it's got instructions on how to make different bath bombs. Um, and then you've got like bath bomb mix, so it's got citric acid, so that's what this one is. You have potassium chloride and sodium bicarbonate. So, you know, I don't really want to drop this everywhere. I do have a rent inspection coming up, so I think I might wait on this one. And then, this one comes with these little like coloured scent thing so it comes with like a little you, I don't think you'll be able to see but it comes with a little pink dye a blue dye rose fragrance and yellow dye so you, it, there is a recipe that I really want to try I'll show you the one that I want to make it's called rose quartz bath bombs and I think that's that's what it looks like there so you put salt in it and it's just meant to look really beautiful so that is the one that I want to try, but yeah, the mixes that they've given me, it says it can make up to four, but it only comes with a mould for one, so I just don't feel like separating them all out and then trying to work out how to store them. So I think I'm going to skip the bath bombs today. Um, in the videos coming up, once I do make one, I'll make sure to update you guys and insert a little footage. But I thought I'd just sit down and show you what the pack does come with. I'm sure that is very, very fun. And yeah, it does allow you to create four luxurious bath bombs. Again, this was only $9. Okay, so now I've talked you through the bath bomb kit. And whilst the candles are drying, I thought we would do the paint pours, which I'm very, very excited for. Um, you'll see my setup in a second, but how I do this is I have like an old style curtain So I just have a very cheap curtain that I think I got from Kmart And that's like my tarp in here because I don't have like an outdoor area And then what you do is you pour a little bit of each of the color of paints into like a little cup So I just have like a little paper cup and then you tip it upside down on your canvas and it should spread out everywhere for you. I just realized that I have quite good trackies on, so I'm gonna quickly change out of those, and then we're gonna do our little pour. I am really excited for this one. I think it's gonna look really good. So, fingers crossed. All right, so this is the top around me that you can see, and you can see that I've used it quite a bit. So, let's see how we wanna do this. The little like tip on the back of this is to carefully add a small amount of each colour into the cup and don't stir the colours. So I'm just going to add little bits here and there. So you can't really see at the moment but it's just a little bit in there so we're just going to keep topping that up. show you what that looks like in there and now the trick is to pour the cup upside down so this is the fun part so I'm gonna put the cup on the canvas on the top like that and then we're gonna flip and then we remove the cup gently and now you tip the canvas at each corner so see how it moves like this Okay, so the pouring paints at Kmart, 100% recommend. That was so much fun. So let me show you like the finished product. Well, finished in terms of pouring paints. I'm gonna let it dry and then I'm gonna do the textured painting part when I come back from dinner. So this is what it looks like up 
close. Doesn't it look stunning? Let me zoom in actually a bit more for you guys too so you can really get the full effect. Absolutely beautiful and so, so easy to do. So literally you just put those paints there into the cup and then put the canvas on top, flip it and there you go. You've just got to move the canvas around to make sure you get uh, each section but any sections that I had trouble on, so like this corner over here I had some issues with so I just poured some more onto it but yeah I'm really really happy with the, how that one turned out um, this video is really really fun to film so recommend checking out Kmart quick check back in on the candles they're definitely starting to dry now so I've just trimmed the wicks on that one so that's the square one and then over here we have the star one the wick definitely could have been in the centre more but that's my fault for not having skewers so I'm interested to see how these will pop out. Hopefully they'll pop out well and they'll smell well. But I'm just going to let them harden up just a bit more. Okay, so I kind of, I didn't mess it up per se, but I did get it stuck when I was trying to lift it. So it's got some weird textures in it, but that's what it looks like now, if you can see that. I've just tried to dry it off ever so slightly. I have like this heat gun thing that my mum's given me so I tried to dry that off and then what I'm going to do now is take some stencils I have quite a few here I'll link the ones that you can get at Kmart but I already own these ones I do think a few are from Kmart and then I've got like a textured paint um, if there's one at Kmart I'll link it in the description below and yeah I'm just going to use some acrylic paints and put some stencils on it so I'll zoom you guys in so you can see a little bit of that and then I'll show you what it looks like at the end okay so I've put like the first layer of texture on which is like these white parts that you can see so I just put a stencil and then I go in then I'm going to take the heating gun and just dry off those pieces I'm just going to take a little brush and hope that for the best that I don't mess this part up. I'm just going to add a bit of colour to it. Okay, so I admit that I didn't actually film very much of the painting process, but I do have a reason for that. I was putting on the texture paint and then going over with different colours, but I quickly realised that it kind of ruins the um, pouring paint effect. I think if I was to do it again, I would put the texture paint down first, let that dry and then put the pour on top of it and hopefully that would go over the texture. But instead, what I've done is I actually added in um, a blue paint pour that I had. So now half the canvas is blue and half is pink. So I think it looks okay. Um, honestly, it probably looked better before without anything else on it. But it still looks pretty cool. So let me show you that. So I'm pretty zoomed in. But this is the finished product. So as you can see, there's blue on that half and then the pink there. Let me zoom out a little bit for you. So yeah, that's what it looks like. Um, it's going to need to stay out for a while to dry. But it looks pretty cool. You can see the texture in there from when I had the textured paint. So that, that part there is all texture. Um, there's some in there from a stencil. Over there was a stencil. So that's what I did to create the texture. But yeah, I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments if you like it. If you don't, I won't be offended. Not my best work, but it's not my worst I think that this one's probably maybe my favorite one that I've done so that was a textured paint one and it's just the woman's body so that's my favorite probably but still good but it's not all bad news because whilst we were painting I did take my candle out so here we go I can't get the star one out just yet but here's my little square candle that I created it smells really nice it smells like mandarin because I put in those essential drops so I'm gonna light that and see what happens and then I'll probably do the outro for this video. It's been a lot of fun, so let's light this and see how it goes. Look at that.
look at that I know it's a bit blurry but we have a candle that's working um, I've just put it on a plate so hopefully like the wax doesn't go everywhere but it looks really nice I'm excited to see if it will smell nice when I blow it out but two thumbs up for that one Okay, so that brings me to the end of today's video. Um, it was actually a very, very, very fun video to film. I had a lot of fun getting more into the artsy side. I'm not, I mean, I could have done better, but I did have a lot of fun. I highly recommend both products that I tried for today's video, the candles and the paint pours. The paint pours were a lot of fun and the colors together looked really nice. I believe there was a blue one too that you could get. Um, so I'd recommend that and those canvases were only five dollars So love that. I hope that you guys enjoyed this other Kmart haul and a bit of a different take on one of these um, I hope it's inspired you to get a little bit more creative and maybe you know have a nice night in uh, Relax grab a cup of tea see what you can create uh, Let me know in the comments below if there's anything else you'd like to see me pick up from Kmart and try out for you but yeah, I did have a lot of fun. I think now I'm gonna start that uh, word search book that I grabbed, so chill out for the rest of the night and um, wind down with that before bedtime. But yeah, as always guys, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and follow me over on my Instagram. It's just at Brooke McQuaid. Stay safe wherever you are, and yes, let me know in the comments below your thoughts on the painting. You can be as honest as you want um, and I will let you know when I make the bath bombs because that looks really good and I like that it comes with so many different options but I thought we'll just skip that one today so I will keep you posted for when those are created but the candle worked so I'm happy with that it's lighting right now so two thumbs up bye guys <laughs>